Hello, everyone. Um, I will be discussing about data gaps and social determinants within infectious diseases. We're focusing on the public health priority. Um, before we begin, we begin, here is a brief introduction about myself. My name is Lucy Kim, and I'm a rising junior at Oakton High School in Virginia. So my extracurriculars that show my interests are Hobie State Leadership Conference, Medical Intensive Summer School at Johns Hopkins, TED Talk Translator, and some few nonprofits that focus on different perspectives when it comes to the medical field. Um, my current career plans include the field of biomedical engineering and to research the effects of human inequalities in medical treatments at college. Um, this was my research question and it states health inequities, what are they and how do we reduce them? This is my background research on the definition of social determinants. They are basically conditions in which people are born, grow, work, live and age. This includes economic policies, development agendas, social norms, um, policies, and political systems. I'm presenting this issue today to help us get more clues on what is happening and hopefully make ways to fix the issue. Um, social determinants provide a comprehensive blueprint for our development. It is really important to discuss this topic, especially during times like this with COVID-19. Um, social determinants of health subjectively contribute to 80% of our health outcomes. Pandemics are not really an individual problem, but largely a social problem. Um, data points for these SDOH are critical predictors of the outcome of a pandemic for an individual, a community, and a society as a whole. Um, I thought this graphic showed us more a visual way of the aspects that are included in the social determinants of health, such as health healthcare system, economic stability, education, food, and more. Um, I was looking for ways to connect social determinants with global health, and these two words came in my mind, and they're health inequities. The social determinants of health are responsible for health inequities. Health inequities are differences in the health status of different groups of people according to socioeconomic status. And in all countries, whether low, middle, or high income, there are wide disparities in health status of different social groups. The lower an individual's socioeconomic position, the higher their risk of poor health. Health equity equals reducing unfair differences. I believe that this concept is clear, understandable, and actionable. It is tied to widely accepted notions of fairness and social justice. The key word in the first bullet point is avoidable. Um, health disparities or inequalities are differences in health outcomes that are avoidable. These systemically relate to social inequality and disadvantage. Equity is a broad goal, including all aspects of different stakeholders, including diversity, culture, race, identity, gender, even background. Um, however, equity is to reduce or eliminate socially and institutionally structured health inequalities and differential outcomes. Um, this was collected by EvolveHealth.com and it clearly shows how much access to care matters when it comes to health outcomes. Um, just as much as family structure and social support. Despite the protests and the society's urge to reduce the gap with healthcare, it still remains a major problem today and the crisis is not over. And the data gaps and social determinants within our society are not as addressed as much as the other issues. These are the charts collected by LA Times and it clearly shows that the death rates among blacks are dramatically higher than whites and that the death rates of elderly are dramatically higher than the youth during times like this. So what can we do? Adjusting health disparities is increasingly important as a population becomes more diverse. Health disparities matter so much because they not only affect the groups facing disparities, but also limit overall gains in quality of care and health for the broader population and result in unnecessary costs. Um, health disparities are differences in health outcomes and their causes among people, and I've simplified three ways us humans can do to reduce these social determinants. The first one is addressing health disparities with the aim of advancing health equity. The second one is interventions to address disparities by race and ethnicity, socioeconomic status, geographic location, disability, and or sexual orientation across a range of conditions. And the third one is to assess disparities across a wide range of diseases, behavioral risk factors, environmental exposures, social, social determinants, and healthcare access. As my study is not completely finished yet, the goal of my study is to research more on these three questions. The first one is how can health disparities be improved? 
The second one is, how is COVID-19 showing us the different aspects of health disparities and health equities that we're waiting to be addressed? And the third one is, what are current challenges to addressing disparities? So in conclusion, I wanted to emphasize that especially during times like this with COVID-19, human inequalities are more emphasized with Medicare treatment and the process of infection. And I want to emphasize that the fact that perspectives has its own power and perspectives are needed for our world to differentiate each individual. However, that perspectives cannot justify inequalities. And especially in the field of public health, I believe that inequalities cannot be ignored. Um, I also want to share this quote from Amanda Steffen's blog from 3M Healthcare Data Dictionary team, as she says, while the current COVID-19 crisis may appear to be diverting attention from the SDOH, at the same time, it is making clear that the need to include them in the overall strategy to combat the pandemic spread. One day, the COVID-19 pandemic will be brought under control in order to derive lessons learned from it. Data must be collected comprehensively, accurately, and to be usable in an interoperable and computable form. Last but not least, an interagency approach will be needed to drive a holistic approach to patient care. Reducing health disparities brings us closer to reach health equity. I also thought this quote explained my perspective very well. In our world that is becoming more and more technology driven every day with more data, information, and resources being added to our brain, our world should really focus and lean more onto the things that we don't know rather than the things that we already know and that are notified of, such as social determinants of health. Um, here's my works cited page with all the articles, books, charts, and statistics I have researched, and I would like to acknowledge and thank all the authors and researchers who have broadened my perspective on this topic during my research. Um, please email me for any questions, concerns, or comments regarding this presentation, and I would also like to thank the Global Health Leaders Conference staff for giving me this chance to share this presentation with all of you guys. Um, thank you very much.